Hello everyone, it's the mayor of Palm Beach Plantation. I got a letter I'd like to read to you from a very nice neighbor of ours. And she still lives here in Palm Beach Plantation. But this is a letter that was written in the past, back when, uh, after we flooded and all the bullshit that the board uh, put me through. This lady was so nice, she came to my defense because she saw exactly the bullshit that was going on. Here's just one of many letters that I have gotten in my possession. This is just one from this lady, and I think you'll be shocked when you see who it's from. All right, here we go. Let's read it together. To whom it may concern, I bought a home in Palm Beach Plantation in May 2012, 9065 New Hope Court. I first met Mr. Turry when I saw him cleaning a neighbor's pool. I needed help on how to drain our pool because it was overflowing. This was before we even moved into the home. Mr. Turry was nice enough to come and help me drain the pool and show me how the system worked and then introduced himself as our neighbor. In fact, he was the only neighbor to introduce himself to us. Ah, how about that? <laughs> we moved into the home, and in July or August, our neighborhood flooded. That's exclamation point there, flooded. As you can imagine, the neighborhood was in turmoil, and Mr. Turry got the right equipment to drain our community of this horrible flood. Yes, thank you, Sunbelt Rentals. <laughs> During the first few days, I realized very quickly that there was issues with the HOA against Mr. Turry. Jason had made some videos of the flood and the community and asked if it was okay that my oldest son filmed him rowing a boat and that my younger son was okay in the video since we were standing in the street during the time also, the HOA president's son was throwing rocks at the sign I put out telling people to slow down. Because if you drove your car too fast, uh, the, the cars created a wake that pushed the water into the house. Yeah, that's what those signs were for. We had no wake zones in the streets here in Palm Beach Plantation. <laughs> when asked the younger teenagers to stop, one started to harass me and continued for a couple of weeks. I found out by another neighbor's Angela, who was one of parents of the children and best friends with Dawn, Dawn Corrado now. Let's just all make sure we know who we're talking about. Corrado, the ex-president. The other parent kid, when I found out it was the HOA president Dawn's son was the one and had written a letter to management. In the meantime, I had told Mr. Turi about it. He had said something to someone, and all of a sudden the president of our HOA was telling police he was spreading lies about her son, and then also sent the police to him saying he was taping children. Yes, I have a police report that Don Corrado and Angela Manzor uh, made a police report saying that I was filming their children in the neighborhood and they found it disturbing in nature or whatever the word they used. I got the police report. We'll get to that some other day. That Dawn and the board were not appreciative of all of Jason's help, but rather tried to have him convicted of unthinkable crimes acting like he was a pedophile. At this time, I wrote a letter defending Mr. Turry that he had my permission, that my son was on the tape, and he was not spreading lies about the HOA President Dawn. During a conversation with Dawn, she first lied about getting a lawyer to write Jason and that she called the police on him, then later slipped and said that she did. I have never witnessed Mr. Turry being violent or acting in a violent manner. On the other hand, I have seen threats on the PBP resident's Facebook page where a member of the board has threatened him and others for asking questions. 
In fact, the board has been asked, asked questions by many of us, and they refuse to answer questions of what we feel are conflict of interest. It's obvious that there are members of the HOA Board of Management are furious about Mr. Turry's YouTube vids and uncovering a lot of things that were going on in this community. Currently, the things that have not been done properly in the past developer. They look at Mr. Turry trying to protect his and his community's investments of home ownership as a threat. When Mr. Turry and others ran for board election, they did everything in their power to make it difficult, they meaning the HOA, and then did not hold the elections by the rules and guidelines which bylaws state they should have been done. Many of us feel that Mr. Turry was set up. At, the, at this last landscape meeting, there was a board member took his property and put his hands on him. Yes, board member Riccio took my camera out of my hand and put his hands on me. Yes, they have tried to ban Mr. Turry on being on any community property here and constantly are calling the police on him. Some board members and management have sent out email blasts defam defamatory of Mr. Turry's character, stating he's a nuisance and he's violent. And they fear for their lives where I have never seen anything but Mr. Turry trying to help this community, exclamation point. Sincerely, Teresa Sagas. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you very much for that nice letter you wrote back then. You know what, though, Teresa? I really wish that you were on the board, though, instead of Mr. Steve Sagas, your husband, because I don't hear him defending me or anybody else in this hood one bit, and he's been on that board for the past year or two. What has Steve done for us at all lately? I don't ever hear that man standing up for anything, but Teresa, you have, and Teresa, I wish that Steve would sit down, sit, step aside, appointed Steve Sagas, step aside, and then you, Teresa Sagas, please take his place. Because when a neighbor writes a letter like this and gives you shit, you would make a great HOA board member. Where the hell are you, Steve? Huh? Didn't you, didn't you serve our country, Steve? It's time to speak up, Steve. <laughs> God bless America. <laughs> Thanks, Teresa. Yo.